Now we need to get the bearing in here, which consists of a bunch of plastic rollers stuffed in there. And I did make those a while ago when I made the ones for this. And then I just made this guy, and that's what goes on the thing and holds all the plastic rollers in there. And on the inside of the tube here, there's a ring kind of like this, except bigger, that fits, that keeps the rollers from sliding up. Anyway, uh, we'll see if these fit. Oh, those fit quite nicely. Let's get this thing on. Does it matter which way? I don't think so. It's supposed to be tight. Come on. Cool. Still enough space for water to get through. Uh, I'm gonna drill a couple holes in here so water can come through, run right through the bearing and out this way. Keep it nice and lubed up. Oh, that is nice. Hopefully that works for a long time. The nice thing about rollers is it spreads the weight along the whole roller. So like this long about. I probably couldn't get away with uh, plastic bearings if they were balls because the weight would be on a lot smaller areas. Yesterday it rained all day so this will be a good chance to check if this is really keeping the water out. Oh, nice. oh, that looks super dry in there. Any water would pool down here and it looks like there's nothing. Not even a drop. Excellent. Ugh, I'm gonna clean up all that dust. Right now the motor is only connected to the boat by this right here. I do want to put a couple screws in here. Then I also need to put something back here to hold the motor up. You know, other than just the pieces of wood I have stuck under it right now. Hmm. Let's think about that. I could just get a can of spray foam and all under there and just... No, no, I want to do something a little better than that. I sure hope this motor works. It is the used one. Uh, wouldn't be that big a deal to change it out, but it would be so nice if it just worked. I probably should have tested it before installing it. Whatever. With any luck, this is a motor mount package. So this will go under the motor. And this cloth here is just a piece of... Uh, cloth that I was using to clean resin before so it's soaked in resin still a little flexible kind of rubbery I figured it'd be a good thing to go between this metal and the motor so I kind of eyeballed it hopefully this fits under there and then I can drill two holes stick these two rivets in and mom mom's the word or Bob's your uncle or whatever you do all right fingers crossed come on huh, fingers crossed this piece of metal is actually from a slot machine. Wow, that fits really nice. Nice work, Jamie. Uh, it's toward the motor a little bit, or toward the back of the motor a little bit, which is good because the front of the motor is supported here. And I just need to hope I can get my drill in here to, yeah, it should fit. There, that sucker's in there. Now all I need is a propeller at the bottom. Well, and some solar panels and batteries and blah, blah, blah. Oh, right. I need to screw this in so that when the motor starts driving and pushing, it doesn't just pop out. Yeah. All right. Drill a hole, tap a hole, screw a hole. Maybe twice. I decided I wanted to put a strip down the middle of my roof here too. 
just to make it a little more stiff and give the panels a little more uh, support in the middle. So I'm just cleaning those up now, trimming the edges and sanding off the tops. All right, I think that's the top done. Now, how do I attach this? Oh, empty paint can. Oh, I guess I can paint this after it's installed. That marks where the two pontoon holders go up. So if I put holders there, they can slide into those. And the other one's up here. Now I need to mount poles where I put my marks. This would be easy to rivet into, drill into and stick rivets, but I'm out of rivets. I can't believe I'm out of rivets. I have some that I ordered coming. They won't be here for a month or so. So what do I do here? No, well, I guess I should find the poles first. Poles, where are poles? It's got poles around here. Well, I've got my propeller shaft leftovers. There's enough of this to do four poles. And then I'll have to do one in the front and back. I'll just have to rummage around for some of this stuff or something. This is a little heavier than ideal. I'm pretty sure it's the best thing I've got in my junk here, though, so I'm going to use it. Now let's just check everywhere. I've got tubes. Nah, too thick. That's trampoline. I can't do that. All right, fine. Leftover prop shaft it is. We're going to cut this thing. Oh, these are totally beat down sticks. I should make an extra one of these for self-defense. Stainless steel tubes fit in here, snuggish, and these fit in the ones on the boat, you know, a little loose. And if I flare this out at the top, I can slide them into the boat without them just falling in the water. I'll have to get out my popcorn maker. Oh, I love my popcorn maker. Oh, nice. Good thing, because I already drilled the holes in the other three. Come. Where we that? All right, see where the pontoon, just take one. Here, I'll show you. Take this. The other one from there. All right, you go to the back one. Like good solar panel holders? Yeah. These plastic things here just to hold them temporarily. Probably drill a hole right through the side to hold them in. Oh, that looks pretty good. Maybe I should put it on there. I did you put some one that's here at the back. That's the front. Ah, oh, awesomeness. Oh, look at that. Pretty good height. I sat in there. Plenty of headroom. Man, I like it. Good stuff. I think I have some screws I can use to screw those in. Till I get some rivets. I'm going to want to rivet them in.